Hello, today I would like to show you a budget low recoil 7.62 times 39 build. We will be using the AK103 as a base, but uh, you can use the, the build that I'm using with any other AK. Although I suggest uh, to use the AK103 because from my experience it's one of the better budget options. Alright, so what we're going to be starting off by is we're going to put this uh, pad pad on this stock and as you can see just that, that's already minus 9 recoil. Then we selected the best gen by first removing the iron sights and now we're 92. As for sight, it's uh, your choice which I very will not use. Now for the gas block and the handguard, you've got two choices. You can either go with the Troy and go without for grip because uh, unfortunately this part right here costs a lot. Yeah, you can't find it in trade. So your options are you either go try and you've got 84 for the recoil or the other option is that you go with the aggressor and it's got 87 recoil as well. But the benefit of uh, the aggressor is the fact that uh, on this one we can actually use a vertical fall grip. So now we're down to 83. Alright, what you have to do next, it's just the muscle. I recommend that you forget uh, using any suppressors on the 7.2x39 because honestly, the suppressors are all uh, really bad. Look at this, uh, like this one actually increases recoil. But what I would recommend to, to use is the R RRD4C which would bring down our vertical recoil down to 67. You haven't got it unlocked uh, and you want to buy it from the film market, it's uh, relatively expensive, like it's 30k. So instead some budget options could be SRPV AKM, which is uh, like just 5 uh, more recoil, but at least it's uh, relatively cheap. Alright, so as you can see, we've got uh, 59 economics. This allows us to use whichever magazine we want. If you want, you can even use the large 95 rounders magazines. Actually, this is 75, my bad. But you know, 36 recoil for a 75 rounder, 7.62 times 39 is actually not bad. Like it's usable, but if you want to go high air go and tell the rounders, then what I would recommend you to use is to use the Ultimac. This is relatively cheap, it's only like 2.5k per magazine, and uh, you got uh, an extra one economics from the base. Regarding the price of the gun, uh, the mods will cost you around 55k, meanwhile, the gun itself is usually sold around 30k on the flea market. First I'll be showing uncontrolled recoil and then I'll be showing controlled recoil. Ты куда пошел? Пиздец вам, раки ебаные! Вон он, сука! 